What's up everybody, welcome back to Resident Evil 3 Part 7 How is everybody doing? Welcome back to the channel Thanks once again for all the new subscribers folks I really appreciate that I hope everybody is doing well This is probably one of my favourite parts of this game In the hospital with Carlos Look at her and me, away with the hell. Director's Diary. September 10th. These patients suffer from gangrene and congestion of their blood at first. Then their mind slowly deteriorates. In the end, there is nothing left of their mind. When that happens, even mercy killing seems pointless. After all, they are already dead. The disease is unlike anything I've ever witnessed. Once the patient's mind is gone, they become flesh-hungry monsters and act like wild animals who are on some type of bloodlust. September 18th. Another patient has been admitted to the hospital. He is showing symptoms of the four stages of the disease at this point, but I haven't been able to sleep at all these past few days. I refuse to let these patients become zombies. I am not just an ordinary citizen, I am a doctor. Even if I die, my clinical charts will contribute to finding a cure. September 26, we lost most of the doctors and staff during the battle against the zombie patients. It's impossible to maintain the hospital under these conditions. And I know that it's too late for me, I am beginning to feel that same itchy and hungry desire that all of my patients felt. It's too late for me. Director's Diary. Damn, I should have kept that hang up. Yes, we will. So there's something I want to talk about actually, and let me know your thoughts on this. There's actually two things. So we'll start off first. <clears throat> so this is a Resident Evil channel, but I also love Metal Gear Solid, especially the first one. So I've never played the Twin Snakes. And I want to play. So I hope you will enjoy that. But what I'm thinking about doing is, it's just doing one video of Metal Gear on a Sunday, maybe. There also appears to be a slight fracture in his right arm just below the elbow. However, Yeah, so look out for that. I might do it this week, start of this week or next week. But the other thing, which floor will you? The other thing I wanted to say was with the Resident Evil Two and Three remake. I don't know why. Get this angle. That must be bad, does it? But yeah, with the Resi 2 and 3 remake, I don't know why they didn't, especially, well, Resident Evil 2. So obviously, Resi 3 is the day before. Or let's say 15 to 18 hours before. I think it would have been cool if they had of put Dario in Resi 2 as a zombie. I think they kind of missed the trick there and they should have done something like that. 
Extreme caution is needed when hand handling chemicals. I had no idea another guinea pig was still alive. What are you doing? Have you lost your mind? Sometimes it's easy to forget one's loyalties. Just like that traitor. You mean the guy who shot you? Yeah, you know him. The one with the gray hair and the ugly mug. I can't believe he had the guts to shoot me. That traitor! You mean Nikolai? Doesn't even let it inspect. Yeah, so you know the way in Resi 2 or OG, the way you can, like, if you don't pick up on and just before the main entrance of the RPD, you can go under the staircase and Brad will be there. I think in the remake they should have done something like that, but with Dario. I thought that would have been a good idea. Toy precision microscope. Unknown creatures are in the fish tank. Oh, what do we have here? Some. Yes, we will take the medium base. Seems to be an electric power supply switch set next to the cultivation tank. Will you switch the electrical power supply? Yes. A synthesis of chemicals. Medium base can be set. Will you operate the synthesizer? I can't remember this at all. I was down there to be honest. Yes, yes, we will. Medical instruction manual. Umbrella Medical Service North America Division Douglas Rover. In order to activate the synthesizer to cultivate the vaccine, please follow the procedure as detailed below. Right, well, we won't read this for the simple fact we've just done it. something I have to do in a room. You have to push something around and around. Let me search this. Nope. Yeah, and probably do this about 20 minutes, this video. I just thought it would be better to upload even if it is a 20 minute video rather than not upload at all. <clears throat> oh, 
one F. I remember being in this room in the remake with Jill. friend Nikolai. His neck has been devoured from the inside out. floor. He's holding the slip. The numbers are 5531 are printed on the slip. I thought he was only gonna go up. If I had a hit off him. Something seems to have been placed here. I can't believe there's nothing in here. What? How did I dodge and get hit? Oh my god! Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead. What the hell? Fucking hell, man. Did you pick up the two of them? He did. It appears to be a book on general medical science. Yes, we will take the sick room key. Photo D. The zombies are walking. It says the effect of the T virus on the backside. Unknown creatures are soaked in formalin. Nothing down here, no. 
various files on viruses and vaccines. Same thing, it's too dark to see anything outside. I'm pretty sure this is the key now to 402. I think if you push this on a wrong one, I think um, gas or something comes in the room, is it? Well, I guess we'll never know. It's locked with a number based lock. Was a far off of I can't think of the number that this doctor had wrote down. Oh, I don't three or four, it's probably three or four. Three off five three one. <clears throat> five thirty one. Back to that machine, though, don't they? I think I have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't believe that. Right, folks. Unfortunately, we're going to leave it there. That was a sad way to end it. Fuck. Anyways, I hope you have enjoyed the video. I spent some time listening to my bullshit. Right. Take care easy, everybody. <laughs>